Mr. Begley, members of the board, we do have two items for board discussion this evening. Our first item is in regard to the OHSAA Award of Excellence. So at this time, I will turn it over to our district athletic director, Mr. Blankenship. Good evening, members of the board. Good evening, district leadership. Um, I want to start off this evening by saying thank you uh, for what you do. Uh, now so, more than ever, thank you for your leadership and thank you for uh, the job that you do serving our community. Um, two, two purposes for being here this evening. The first, to highlight a project we've been working on in the athletic department for the past uh, six to seven weeks uh, and also uh, share uh, and ask for formal approval uh, of our philosophy of athletics. Um, and so to start, I want to highlight, um, you'll have a packet in front of you, uh, as Mr. Smith mentioned, uh, the OIAAA and OSHA uh, has an award. Uh, it's called the Bruce Brown Award of Excellence. Uh, it's highlighted in the packet there in front of you. Um, in short, we were nominated uh, for this award. Um, and so uh, it is kind of twofold. It's part award uh, and part of a uh, for lack of a better term, an audit, uh, self-audit uh, for you to be able to really take an examination of your athletic department. Um, and so you'll see there are 19 uh, domain or nine domains uh, that highlight that are highlighted there uh, from philosophy of education all the way down to continuous improvements. Um, a lot of it's highlighted there. You'll see um, on the next handout there, uh, we're part of the second uh, newest cohort uh, since it's been changed to the Bruce Brown Award of Excellence um, meeting. Uh, I've been meeting uh, for the past few months uh, with other athletic directors and a leadership team uh, after hours uh, for us to uh, prepare all the documents necessary uh, for our hopeful uh, awardance of uh, this award. And so uh, the second to last page you'll see is just a simple checklist that highlights uh, in short, uh, what is asked for uh, from the OIAAA and OSHA in order to re uh, be awarded the Award of Excellence. And so um, right now we've, uh, we've completed about two-thirds of the um, things there that are on the checklist. Um, what's been great so far is uh, we've gotten very positive feedback, uh, a lot of uh, follow-up questions in a positive manner, uh, just to highlight uh, a lot of the great things that, that we've been able to do as a community uh, to highlight our, our student athletes and to have our student athletes connect with our community. Um, and so it's been, it's been really inspiring to be able to go back and have this process to kind of force us uh, to go back and uh, examine um, all the things that we've done. And so it's been a very, uh, very good process for the department. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of things that we've seen that have been great. Uh, there's been some things that we've seen that, hey, there's some things that we could, uh, we could integrate uh, that are happening in other parts of the state. And so uh, this award, this cohort, uh, is very focused in the northern part of the state. Uh, there's only one other school in southwest Ohio uh, that's up for the award this, in this cohort. Uh, so we're honored by that, but it's also neat to see what's happening uh, on the northern part of the state. The final page that you'll see there, uh, as I mentioned before, um, is the ability for me to formally share um, the Fairfield Athletic Department philosophy. Uh, and I'll give you a chance to, to look at that. One thing I'll add is we typically, as we go through with our student athletes and we go through with our coaches, we typically abbreviate uh, such a lengthy uh, philosophy into uh, short, short terms. And you'll see a couple of those highlighted in there. Uh, but we feel like this in, in, in campus encompasses everything that we're, uh, we're about as an athletic department. One thing I'll add, uh, all of the items in the checklist that, that are there, um, we'll, we'll have those done by the beginning of May, uh, is kind of how this process works. Um, whether we would be awarded the Award of Excellence or not, we would find out probably early summer, uh, and that award would go public uh, at the annual uh, convention uh, in October of next year, so next fall. So uh, a little bit of hurry up and, and get the project done, and then a little bit of waiting. Uh, but we found it to be a very worthwhile process, nonetheless. Uh, we feel really honored to be uh, even in the discussion for it. Uh, questions, comments? 
I'll tell you, I think just as you said there, I think it's a worthwhile process. It's, uh, it's an honor to have been chosen, and it gives you a chance to, uh, you know, do a 360 look at the program and see what we can improve on. Uh, the whole concept and what you've written at the end there, I think, is summed up in the very last sentence. Our, our aim is to ensure that each student athlete encounters a positive and enriching experience within our program. Right? Winning and losing. It's great. It's important. But more importantly, <coughs> is that they grow as student athletes. And, uh, and you have exemplified that at every turn. So I appreciate your efforts on behalf of the school district. Great. Thank you. If Mr. Blankenship, thank you for presenting this. It is an honor to, to be a part of this. And I'm, I'm, I'm hopeful for the announcement in May. Um, as you said in the beginning, you thank us, but we thank you. Uh, you work tirelessly evenings and weekends and, and through summer, so it's not a nine-to-five job for you. We thank you for your dedication. And what Mr. Begley just read, uh, I had the privilege of listening to Coach Steger and Coach Durham speak a few weeks ago. And I'll say Coach Durham said it best, is that we develop students to be good community members. Yes, good athletes. Yes, teammates. Yes, to win. But it's not about that. It's about being good community members and being good stewards to everything they do. So thank you for leading that charge. Thank you. I also just want to thank you for all the work. Uh, this is truly an excellent thing to be even mentioned and, and thought of in this process. Um, and the fact that we're one of the few even involved in this in the southwest part of the Ohio just proves how great you've worked with this program and how much you've nurtured it. Um, I love the motto of one tribe and that you guys work as one complete unit and it's not, you know, the football team versus the basketball team and they're not com competing against each other but working together to succeed and I absolutely think that's fantastic. So thank you so much for your work. Thank you. I appreciate that. I don't think I could say it any better than my colleagues here have already said it. So just thank you so much for everything and what an honor to, to be part of this and uh, very excited and hopeful for it. Great. Thank you. I, I see all that you do, so I know you're very busy. <laughs> and we appreciate it. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for coming out. Our next item for board discussion is in regard to a board policy. So at this time, I'll turn it over to Dr. Rice. Thank you, Mr. Smith, Mr. Bagley, and members of the board. Under items for board discussion, letter C, board policy number two, I have one piece of policy for discussion, letter A. In your board <coughs> packet, I've included a copy of previous language and the proposed language as per OSBA. So for letter A, I-G-B-E-A-R, Reading Skills Assessment and Intervention, third grade reading guarantee. This is another one of these policies I feel like about every other meeting we're updating. Uh, House Bill 101 made some technical corrections to the budget bill provisions. The modifications are primarily corrective changes related to establishing the Ohio Department of Education and Workforce, DEW and transferring powers from the State Board of Education to DEW. In this policy, the revised code was amended to clarify that DEW is now responsible for adopting the reading competencies instead of the State Board of Education and grants the DEW the ability to review and update standards as necessary. This concludes all the items I have for your consideration under items for discussion. Please let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.